My family's been involved in die casting since my grandfather was a sales engineer at Pemco in Bridgman in the 40s and 60s. Lakeshore Diecast was an offshoot of Pemco, a zinc diecaster. My family really took over the place in 1983, and we've been working here ever since. Diecasting is metal injection molding. The die is the place where you put the mold, and the casting is the process of the metal going into the mold. We use about $120,000 worth of power a year, which is a pretty substantial portion of our total cost. I would say utilities are 10 to 20% of our operating budget on a given year. Over the course of about a decade, I saw my power bill quadruple. And I'm always looking for ways to trim fixed costs because I have to compete with foreign manufacturers. So I was looking for a technology where I could produce my own power or a deal that I could come to with a utility company to lower my rate or just something because I couldn't do anything about that fixed cost. So when I built my first solar array in 2020, there were two incentives that I really considered. One was from the Rural Energy for America program, also known as the REAP grant for short. The other one was the investment tax credit. Back in 2020, the investment tax credit could be 24% of the total project cost, and the REAP grant could be 25%. Taken together, about 50% of the project could be paid for through those incentives. Now, in 2024, uh, because of the Inflation Reduction Act, the REAP grant can pay up to 50% of the total project cost, and the tax incentive can pay 30%. So after you build the project, you can expect that 80% of it will be paid down by grants or tax incentives. With my solar arrays, I actually get a direct deposit from the utility every month. And the payback on the projects are fast, has a payback of five and a half years. After I built the solar array here at Lake Shore Diecast, everybody had a lot of questions. Some other business owners had heard about the savings on electricity and also the savings on taxes. And a couple of kind of industrious guys came to me and were like, how do we get this done? Within the first year of installing, there were two other local businesses who had a raise in the ground, who were up and running, who were happy with how it turned out. Now, I have to compete with labor overseas, and I don't want to reduce the labor cost here. I want to employ more local people. I want good quality labor. And so the opportunity to reduce the fixed cost of electricity and taxes really gives me an opportunity to grow my business locally and pay my employees more. Solar's awesome. Like, it's really, really good. And I say that with now almost five years of experience with the solar system, everybody always asks how much maintenance I have to do on it or what's the reoccurring cost. There isn't any. I haven't had to do anything. It just sits out there and makes me money. And as a guy who has to do maintenance on die cast machines and broken hydraulics and all sorts of different stuff all the time, the solar is the easiest part of my operation to manage. Ready, Set, Solar Reap is a free program designed to make the application process easier by offering you step-by-step -step guidance over 10 weeks to complete and submit your USDA Reap grant.